trending in different directions. Fordham has won five in a row. Richmond has lost four straight. Can, can you imagine the number one storyline is Fordham is going from 8-10 doormat to contender for a first-round tournament bye. The junkyard dog defense. It's going to be man-to-man -man and confrontational. As things commence, Fordham in the dark, Richmond in the white. Shot clock at 10. Tyler Burton buries the first jump shot. He's in at Richmond, and now second in the conference in scoring. Here's why I think Burton is going to be ready for Khalid Moore backing in, and the rebound to Matt Grace for Richmond. This needs to be a five-pass possession. Or, or zero. Decisive here in the second half, Tim. Well, the, the shot blocking doesn't impress me for the Spiders, so I think that Fordham is in a really good position. If they can get to the rim, they can also hurt them on the offensive glass. And there is Tyler Burton. Oh. I asked Chris Mooney. Is their best ball when they just go out there and they make plays and don't worry about you know means during his high school career and staying in the New York area for his college ball at Fordham. Burton against Novitsky, trying to get him off his feet. Hooks it up and gets the bounce. If six from the free throw line today. Second player for Richmond into double figures today. Now has 13 points. The head of that aggressive VCU defense. And even off some guys, I thought Francis Okoro or Yuri Collins from St. Louis would get on these games. They've experienced nothing but success in this program. They're the reigning A-10 champs, and this sets them up for a strong finish to the A-10 conference. Trying to build on this five-point edge. Burton, corner three. 